All right, so the reason why I'm doing this video just for us to practice. And I, as I always say, um, I'm not a teacher. I'm not an expert in the language and I have a lot of mistakes. But, but I know this, I can pass any interview. It's all about the uh, confidence. Uh, anyway, so the only thing that you need to do is, that's my personal opinion, right? Okay, uh, the reason why that you don't see any uh, improvement in your language is because you are afraid. You're afraid of rejection. All right. Now, there's a big difference between uh, fearing the language, which is, I think, uh, we have to make a difference between fearing the rejection and fearing the language. And, and I don't think that's the case here. Uh, you don't fear the language, you fear the rejection. What the HR will tell me, what, uh, what, what if they told me I'm not good enough. All these rejections are not on your resume. So when you apply, let's say that you get a couple of rejection, uh, rejections. If you go somewhere else to apply, no one will know that you got rejected okay so you get as much as you can from rejections no problem now about the language why I said that you don't have a fear of the language because your issue is the rejection what if you have a bad English and you went for interview and you passed are you gonna feel good I hope you're getting my point Anyway, so now, of course, you're not going to feel good because you know you're not good in the language, right? And you see here how the company or the HR responded or reacted, it didn't really help you much. So whether they accept you or reject you, this is not going to improve your language. I keep getting phone calls anyway um, yeah so what I was saying is you don't fear the language you fear the rejection so why I am talking about you have to feel pressure to learn something it worked for me and it worked for other people that I've seen was even worse than me in the language so the idea is you should not worry about the rejection from the human resources. Don't worry about it. And if there is a certain company that you want to get in, but you can't, practice in interviews for other companies. Start with the small ones. Okay? And leave that big company that you want to work with the last thing after you already became experienced in interviews okay now what do you need to do now what you need to do is you have to do one thing only oh, the camera is here one thing only what is it you have to study only the interview questions practice it and go for interviews get rejected no problem keep practicing make it better make yourself sound better get rejected practice until you master it why I'm saying this because I've seen a lot of people that they're actually good for me but they never passed so 
they were not prepared for the questions. So once you pass, once you pass, you'll be pressured when you are already in the company, you'll be pressured to work on your language. But always learn, learn the interview questions, learn the tricky questions. And then when you master it, you'll find yourself already have uh, some good improvement. All right. I know people who uh, they had very basic Spanish. So instead of their panicking about the language, they learn the questions. And the more you learn the question, you know exactly how the verb works, but you don't really you don't really learn the language. You're just learning how to answer the questions. And when you learn the questions and you're learning the answers your language will be improved. So if this works really for Spanish, so what more with English? Because English language is way, e way easier than the Spanish language. I hope you find this video useful. And if I were you, it's all about acting. You have to act. You have to be, I mean, for example, I don't think, I don't think that this is an American accent. I don't think so. I think this is kind of, I don't know, Canadian? And, well, since there is 52 states in US, maybe I sound like someone from California or someone from Los Angeles, I don't know. But I don't sound like the rest, or maybe New Yorker, but I don't sound like the rest of the Americans. So, you just need to focus on imitating someone that you like it could be a scene from a movie or even you can you know what you can do I'll show you hold on so basically what I did uh, a couple days ago I uh, recorded a video and in this video I what I did is I put subtitles so how about that you play this video after I upload this video on YouTube you can actually do the same thing by um, play the video and then let me show you the answer is no you don't have to so but you just need don't to go push your luck because also you know here. that the fellows that are uh, running the human resource they will give you a hard time. So you can practice you what I just better said. Better make to them you. feel insecure. It's sad, but it's true. All right. Uh, you have to know that uh, these subtitles that I'm putting, I, I put it manually. So sometimes the YouTube uh, doesn't detect exactly what you said in the video. That's why you cannot rely on all the videos on YouTube if the subtitle is correct or not. Uh, but that's why I'm telling you that I'm actually doing that manually to make sure everything I say is exactly what is written so you will see what I said and how I said it um, so yeah this is pretty much the reason behind the video um, so and as I told you before uh, I'm not a teacher I'm not an expert I'm just someone who worked on the language sometimes I sound like a, a native speaker sometimes I don't so it happens just make sure that the only thing that you have to do is just learn the questions of the interview and learn the answers I can share with you uh, a PDF file has all I think the toughest hundred questions of interview uh, this could be this could be helpful um, I can leave a link down below uh, so just you need to pass and like I said it's it, it's it's really helpful if you feel the pressure uh, if you feel the, uh, the uh, if you feel pressured right and I don't want you to feel uh, the fear of 
the rejection because it's only on your mind again go to companies that small companies that they're not famous right get rejected just kill the fear and just focus on the questions and always improve yourself how to answer it how you sound and I think that will be really helpful do you remember because I I, I um, if you remember uh, uh, the show called Friends uh, when Rachel want to pursue her career in fashion and then Joey and Chandler they suggested for her that she need to quit her job as a waiter because she needs to feel the fear right the fear and uh, uh, she'll be pressured to to look and to get the job that she wants right of course I don't really agree about quitting a job to get another job um, but uh, but I know for when it comes to language, uh, feeling the fear of rejection, that's something that is wrong. You should not have that. And you can kill it by going to small companies. Uh, but I also know that it helped so many people, including myself. Um, my, first, uh, my first job when I, when I, when I, I had to use my language, I was not bad but I was pressured to improve myself because everyone around me was really good at the language. So I hope I made myself clear and I hope that was useful for you. Um, yeah, so peace out.